How do I'm Asi and welcome to Rufin Fishing. Um, the good news is that I have a much better idea than I did have the in the first episode of this of this little series. It's uh, so much so that I'm now up to level two. Actually, catching fishes. Still got my uh, bamboo stick, which I have a Oh, it's emotional attachment to now. That might be a bit strong. Found that just dropping it in the side of the lake, obviously, obviously is not the way to do it. So we're back at Mosquito Lake. We've uh, utilised the food cabin. Oop. Here we go. And we have a little common roach. There you go, give us a smile, little common roach. And another 36 XP. You see my float fishing now up to a princely 2.6%. Right, we are so keeping that. And in we go again. So yes, we're slowly but surely getting the hang of this. Thank you for your patience. Actually, all the fishes are still rather small. I'm probably going to have to be a little more targeted in the fish I go for. Because, well, we'll see when we go to the uh, fish market. They don't fetch huge prices. So, uh, yeah, the economics are going to be a little bit tricky. I think that is one of the one of the fun challenges of this game. Is how to actually get the money for the gear. So we've still got our old rope and our feather, with the second least posh hook available, I think. But at least now we do get bites, he says. They are out there somewhere. So I don't think I said in the uh, first video in this series um, just how beautiful this game looks. I've got the settings on the second minimum possible due to my poor old computer. But that water is absolutely stunning. A lot of work must have gone into this, and it's purely an aesthetic thing that water. We do reflections. There you go, being hypnotized by the graphics can't be bad. Well, I'm going to move where we've cast slightly. Same move where we've cast slightly, it's still a little bit. I'm still some random dude with a bamboo stick who's got a vague idea that fish swim. There we go, zoom in that so I can actually see. Nice of this episode where we got a fish early on rather than Having to wait forever. Oh. One thing I have found is I do need to be a little more patient than I have been. So 
Oh, wait, this has actually taken. It's bobbing, it's bobbing. I'll take it then. There we go. And we missed it. Hey, <laughs> well, we're not going to get them all. Really not going to get them all. I still have a worm on the on the hook. I just want to see how many worms I have. Baits. There we go. Oh, we still have 45 worms. Right, I do not need to worry about worms then. What, 45 of the blighters. Okay, and in we go again. I apparently you can dig for bait so now I'm not quite sure whether you can do that with your bare hands or you need a shovel but that might be a worth uh, worth looking into in the very near There's, oh here we go <laughs> I say here we go nowhere near oh and there's my worm gone I think that's me is that my worm no no it's still there it's just me going blind Pretty much an old school setup, this I suppose. In real life, I'm not a fisherman, so uh, I can't see many people fishing like this these days, but at least not as hobby fishers. Well, the sun is shining, lovely day. Where are the fishes? So obviously the plan with this is to get... I do have better rods and we'll be using them them next time, I think. I'll have a closer look at them at any rate. Uh, it's very much a case of getting the skills up a little. Um, so we can catch more fishes, hopefully getting some, some cash together to invest in better equipment. Oh, there we go. Have we got it? Oh, we've got it this time. And it is a, another common roach. There you go. <laughs> a 76 gram roach. As almost a metaphor for, for the YouTube channel at the moment. It's really small, really little bit rubbish, but I still like it. There we go, and then my float fishing skill now up to a a masterly 2.8% of skill. Excellent, right, we'll have you. So we'll have to have a look at how we get hold of stuff like bait without um, parting with rather a lot of money for what you're getting back for bait. Um, also have to investigate provisions and uh, things necessary for survival craft really. Because the obviously the shops are not the, I presume the shops are not the economically the best way to go about that. Especially given that we are catching food. I have no idea whether that's a mechanic in the game or whether you merely use it for bait. Yeah, looking forward to finding all the fun stuff of this game. 
That's why I was in zoom in. There we go. Oh, oh, we have interest. One second, fish. Nasty habit of striking too early, missing the thing altogether. Now I'm worried I'm striking too late. <laughs> no, nope, no, nope, we've got it. Aha, a bigger roach. Right, we'll do another cast. So I get a little more success with this. Okay, obviously they're only tiny little fish at the moment. But it's a significantly better hit rate than it was. We'll see if we get this one. Have we got it? Yes, we have. There we go, one hundred and twelve grams. Right, so at that point, I know that's not a huge catch, but we are going to pop that in the backpack. Do you have four fishes in the keep net? I think they're all roaches. We're going to go, now there is a cafe up here that pays more for fish, but you have to have the correct amount of the correct size, of the correct type of fish. It's a little bit, in some respects, a little bit of a mission board. But we'll see uh, if we've got anything that they're offering. Hopefully roaches. Hopefully little roaches. Here's the cafe, coming right up. Beautiful weather, I can't believe no one's sat out here enjoying a drink beverage in the sun. Right, there we go now then. So, they want five pieces. How many pieces do we have? We have three pieces. Right, so what I'm going to do, because... We will get significantly less for those. I'm going to try and get another two little roaches. How long have we got to do that? Three three days. Right, okay. So there you go. That's the rest of this video's mission is to get another two roaches. Maybe I should have done that in the first place. So we know. Yes, I could. I could just go off that pier and see if we get them. But we know they are or were biting where well, we've just got them. That was seven and change monies for that, which is significantly more than I would get for them at the fish market. Yeah, this is worth uh, putting myself out. <laughs> 
worth going back and keeping those until we get another two fish. Okay, so hopefully two roach coming up. And then if we can sell at the cafe, the economics work much, much better. Oh, 46 kilo catfish just been caught there in the corner. Something's got it. What have we got? Oh. <laughs> you see, you're after a tiny little roach, and what do you do? You end up being disappointed by a gibble carp. Actually, there's no way I am disappointed with that. That's a lovely little fish. Thank you, little fish. We'll keep it. Uh, bamboo thing is holding out remarkably well. Eyeing up the uh, experience bar now in the bottom left corner, thinking, oh, we might actually make level three. Let's concentrate on getting. You see, when you're after a specific fish, <laughs> it's the most fish I've got in a day, unsurprisingly. They do look happy, don't they? Ah, it looks a happy little fish. Excellent. Put you in the keep net. So we're after these tiny little fish, and suddenly we're getting other fish. So we're getting other fish. Any minute now. Other fish coming up. It might well be the case I just cash in the three I've got at the fish hut and see whether any of my other fishes meet their requirements. Let's call it the fish hole again in that fish market. We're getting on for 19 20 minutes now of a video, which is probably quite enough for you folks. So let's see what, if anything, bites. Oh, we have interest. Take it. There we go, and we'll bring that up. 
Now, if you're a roach or you're a shiny sleeper, right, so what we'll do is we'll see what we get for those. I'm not going to be too fussed that we're not getting the, the best rate in the world. And we'll call it there. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, obviously, most people have level 2 I have very, very little experience in this game. So if you do have any any tips, hints or tricks, do let me know in the comments. But we're slowly but surely getting the hang of things. And I think next time we'll have a look at... Um, Oh, you know, money saving things like getting our own bait. Still no one enjoying the cafe. Oh, come on, it's a lovely sunny day. Right, let's see if any of these fishes. No, we have absolutely nothing that's going to interest them, do we? Nope, we don't have that. We just don't have enough of those. Any want five of them, we've got three. I'm not going to worry about it. Did we get one? Oh, no, we didn't get three kilo. Well, I'll tell you that. The perch. Did we get a perch? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, if we did, it wasn't that large. Right, we'll go and sell these at the fish market. See what we get, and this is why you'll see now. You see the prices there, they were charged, uh, you know, it was in definite monies, not, not decimals of money. But when I sell them here, you'll see. There we go, we've got thruppence, we've got 44 cents, we've got one money. <sighs> Three cents, four cents, five cents, three cents of those roach. Oh, one of the roach was too big anyway. So it's then really not worth that much. So we're going to sell those. There we are, three. Forty-seven. And some tiny little bits and bats of some coppers we get for that, I suppose. Okay, but that's not the end of the world. That's how the end works. We have 21 monies. It is uh, economically difficult, but that's that's part of the game. That is part of the challenge of the game. That is part of what I'm liking about it. Okay, I'm going to call this that. This, that. But yeah, uh, that's going to be today's episode thank you ever so much for watching um i've been as fish thank you very much and ta for now